In this video, we will be talking about representation of arrays. So there are two ways of representing two dimensional arrays in memory. The row measure order and the column measure order. This topic is very easy. So we will look into that. Two dimensional array, suppose there is a two dimensional array of order 3 cross 4. Like this A11, A12, A13, A14, A21, A22, A23, A24. So there are three rows and four columns. 3 cross 4. Now we will learn how to write it in row measure order. Or what is the row measure order? So let's begin. So what is row measure order? Elements are stored in memory row by row. So we write all the elements of an array row by row. So if we look into the rows of this, first row consists of A11, A12, A13, A14. Then A21, A22, A3, A23, A24. So in row measure order, all these will be stored row by row like this a11 a12 a13 a14 a21 a22 a23 a24 a31 a32 a33 a34 so like this under this representation the first row of the array the first row a11 a2 a12 a13 a14 occupies the first set of the memory location and the second row occupies the next so in row measure order we keep or we store the all the elements of an array row by row that is known as row measure order now row measure formula by using row measure formula we can find the address of an element of two dimensional array so what is the formula address of element a i j is equal to the base address the first is the base address then what is the size of the element then number of columns in row measure formula we are concerned about number of columns and the desired row means hame kis row ka nikalna hai the i then we have lower bound of row lower bound of row means the row is, suppose the row is from 6 to 10 so the lower bound of row is 6 that will be written here then the desired column kaun sa kaun se column ka hame answer chahiye the j value the j value that is required then lower bound of columns lower bound of columns kaise hoga lower bound of columns kya hai such as agar columns 10 se 15 tak hai to the, the so the lower bound of columns is 10 we will look into the example and we will understand it better here is the example there is an array 4 to 7 this is the row from 4 to 7 and this is the column from minus 1 to 3 two bytes of storage is takes for each element then find the row measure address of 6 to where base address is 100. So array is from 4 to 7. So the lower bound of row is 4 and the lower bound of column is minus 1. And the upper bound of row is 7 and upper bound of column is 3. This is good. Then we are not concerned about number of rows in row measure formula. We are concerned about number of columns. So we will find that. So what, the, what are the things that we have? We have base address, we have size of each element, we have the desired row, we have the desired look, uh, column. So let's apply the formula, but for formu but there is one thing missing. We need to find the number of columns. Now number of columns can be easily found. The columns are from minus 1 to 3. So you can easily calculate minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. But if there is large number, so there are 5 number of columns but if there is a large number of large range of columns is given then it is difficult to find so for that there is a very easy formula upper bound minus lower bound plus one so the upper bound of column is three the lower bound is minus one subtract those and add one five now we have all the materials for applying in the row measure formula now we are applying it the base address is here the size of each element is here Number of columns is here, desired row, lower bound of row, desired column, lower bound of column. We solve it and get the answer 1, 2, 6. This is how we find the row measure address of an element of a two dimensional array given. So now we will move into column measure and we have already understood row measure we store in row measure we stored the elements in memory by row by row in this we will be storing them by column by column so 
column by column. So the first column will occupy the first step, the second column will occupy the second step. A12, A21, A31, 1, 2, 11, A21, A21, A31, then A12, A22, A32, A13, A23, A24, A24, A34. This is column by column there are four columns this is the first column this is the second column this is the second third column and this is the fourth column if you see the matrix so in this way in row measure order we represent it by row, row by row and in column measure representation we represent it by column by column so now column measure formula what is the column measure formula almost the same but there is slight difference the base address is there the size of element is there M here we require number of rows I have already told you that in row measure formula we are concerned about number of columns so in column measure formula we will be concerned about number of rows then the desired column then the desired row is there and then lower bound of column and the lower bound of row this is the simple formula now let us see an example here array is from minus B 20 to 20 and column is from 10 is to 35 one byte of strategy is taking find the address of 0 to 30 0 and 30 base 500 so just lower bound of row is there lower bound of column is there upper bound of row is known upper bound of column is known base address is known uh, size of element is known i is known desired column is known the number of rows will be found out by upper bound minus lower bound plus one so upper bound is 20 lower bound is 20 minus 20 plus 1 41 so number of rows is found now just we need to put it in formula so base address is there size of element is there number of rows is there desired column is there lower bound of column is there desired row is there and lower bound of row is there after solving this we get the answer so in this way we can find address of row measure and column measure there is no program on this topic so we will not be discussing any program now only one topic is left that is polynomial we will discuss it in the next video